I had a QA session with the Instagram, uh, you know, a story. Mm -hmm. So okay. many of the students will be keep questioning a same thing that how this AI will impact on medical coding and uh, do we do we get the job after one year or two year like i am already saying that ai is everywhere yes so ai is the everybody is welcoming ai so yes. why not medical coding they will also welcome ai and Definitely. we we have to embrace that ai whatever the things that it can help us it, let it do it so anyway, our coders are doing very manual things and they're capturing the how to capture the data because, uh, you know, we have to submit the data has, uh, you know, the crucial thing data capturing is. Thank so you. let it capture everything, uh, whatever can be automated, let it automate. Yes. So whatever the main focus coding things is there, uh, let the coder take care of that. Right. So, so what is your thoughts on that uh, artificial intelligence, whether it is an augmented intelligence or just an artificial intelligence? Uh, see, uh, it is just uh, for now, it is just an artificial intelligence. So I would say AI is here to stay. It's not going to go away and mm -hmm. it's not going to take your job for sure. Uh, you know uh, how you will have to take it is so, you know, uh, the technology the advancements in the technology will always be helping us to grow ourselves right yes so yes. previously we don't have the transportation people used to walk or go by blocks and all but now there is there are bullet trains the technology advanced so with the help of bullet trains you you're, you're crossing uh, many kilometers in a short span that is that is reducing your limitations to yes. achieve your goal right a is also the same way so it will reduce the limitations to achieve your goal yes. for for organizations it will reduce the limitation of number of records that can be processed yes. and for coder it will reduce the burden of coding each and every diagnosis instead a coder can cross check validate the medical record and validate the codes that were that may be given by AI. Yeah. Right now, we don't see a much uh, accuracy of um, the the coding uh, by, done by the AI, but it may come. But if uh, like if a coder is there, the coder job is either code or validate. So yes. if coding is done by someone, your yeah, expertise, yeah. So that is the only thing. Your job role is getting changed from coding to verifying. That's it. This is not going to take your job. This is not going to um, like make you unemployed. So yes. we just have to embrace the technology, take it uh, as like our our sibling, and take it with us and help it uh, to get developed so that as an assistant tool. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, we'll have to use it. Yes, and yes, we'll have to understand a technology. So when when I say like it's not going to take your job, it's not something like uh, you should not even care about it. You should be yes. aware. You should we be aware should... what is happening. Correct. You know? Yeah. So only then you will understand. You'll be uh, ahead of the population. Yes. Otherwise, uh, it'll be a problem. What what makes us to stand out of the crowd? How we will improve us? How we will uh, improve our skills? You know that is also important. Yes. Uh, when AI comes, you should you know should be able to compete that I can give a better accuracy. Uh, yes. So that is what can help us. So that is all. And also, I was uh, researching on these things like what are the other job oriented skills that that the life science graduate can get, and even that uh, many uh, post graduates will be doing the medical coding and. Uh, so when I had a live webinar, so many questions came in. So that time also, I I was researching 25 to 30 percent of the uh, jobs are from medical coding only. Correct. And, and remaining like the uh, clinical research or uh, uh, public health, the regulatory affairs, they're very already laboratory. The technicians, the job opportunities are very less. So if you have studied to be someone like if you want, if you want to be a microbiologist or a biotechnologist, then you are also coming to medical coding. That means medical coding has a space for all the different kind yes. of uh, graduations that you have did. 
so uh, that is why i i tried to tell them that this is in a healthcare industry that is it is growing and uh, again so when it comes to the scope and growth what what's your thoughts yeah so i would always say that uh, the healthcare like it it is always mentioned in many examples many many members will mention the same so healthcare is essential in our regular lives and after covid everybody has become health conscious and and so considering the world that we are living in we will definitely be uh, focusing on health uh, right so the same way when there is a demand in healthcare there would be a, 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 a like it is directly related a uh, field that we are in so yes. if you remember on covid days mm -hmm. many of it guys might have lost job or many other uh, uh, industry guys have lost job but healthcare workers healthcare people no and it can be so whether it can be financial crisis it can be any type of crisis yes. the healthcare will remain there so mm -hmm. it will it is going to get uh, improved even i foresee in india coding will get introduced already it is there it is being followed and we are being so much health conscious and we are also getting into the insurance world uh, uh, in india also yes. i think we will we will see in next 10 years we will see a solid coding system that get introduced into uh, indian healthcare yeah. yes yes for sure what so, most of the hospital will do right yeah. they will also already they are doing it yes so one one find uh, maybe within a five year or within within next five to six year it can be introduced here also then yes. eventually the job opportunities will be more and uh, compared to compared to before covid and after covid now there are many healthcare companies and uh, most uh, companies are outsourcing this medical coding projects with the different specialties yes i wanted to mention one thing so because uh, many people come to me uh, uh, especially freshers who cleared so um, uh, they'll, they'll get my number from the portal and they'll call me sir so i got an opportunity in hcc should i go or not mm -hmm. so this is the common question maybe i might have got thousand questions on this see uh first job is very important you are you getting into the job is very important and there is no specialty that is that should be seen as less uh, yes. less or some specialty more right and you know the doors are open for hcc uh like it, it, the hiring for hcc will happen in thousands yes and the specialties maybe enm surgery or whatever the specialty hirings will happen in maybe hundreds and tens yes. right mm -hmm. so which one you wanted to choose you you try you have the potential you try for the specialty if you didn't get it don't wait for it grab the job first you need to get into an organization get the job once you get into it the organizations will always encourage people who are within the organization they wanted to cross train people they wanted to get them they wanted to keep their employees on top every organization that i know will do this they don't want to throw the people out if there is no project let's say you entered in hcc and there is no scope for uh, hcc in their organization so now they won't throw you if you are open for the other specialty they'll they'll put you okay. in training and they'll train you for the specialty and they'll give that and even ijps will happen so instead of staying idle get into some organization get the job so that yeah. is very important the, yes. the importance is getting into the medical coding not getting into what specialty what specialty you want yeah. that is what so, i told that same question they'll be keep questioning i ip i'm not getting outpatient i'm getting should i go now i'll say you are a fresher and why do you have so much expectation just start with your career in medical coding and once you understand what it is you'll yes. able to uh, make your decision even more uh, clear even yes. i when i worked in uh, indian organization uh there also i also got to work with multiple projects 
i did not went to any multiple organization inside my organization i i had an opportunity to work for different different projects right that is what if you start you will get to uh, get one more opportunity if you are not starting it then again you will be idle i think uh, we need to give this uh, message to the the veteran coders the experienced coders in the industry because how a fresher will know about the specialities of course so i know about specialities because my friend or my senior was there in the organization so they'll tell you okay you don't get into hcc you get into ed or surgery or something so uh, see uh, you are by by telling these information uh, you're not helping your friend instead you are you are stopping him to get stopping into the job yeah. yes so that is not right please encourage them to get into something so that they'll earn and you know the the ultimate thing is earning and developing ourselves getting the experience into your bags that is very important not the specialty ultimately you are a medical coder that's it yes. you are not going to get tagged your hcc or your that specialty this specialty you are a medical coder and you are doing the great job in whatever the specialty that you are uh, getting into yes that is what yeah. even i when i'm posting the uh, qas on the stories i clearly mention all this like i don't want to uh, other people should should not be demotivated seeing that i am putting something like hcc is not good you go to this my story the people will see in like some 4000 to 5000 people will be viewing that story what do they feel how do they take it like yeah. they, it will create a negative impact so i generally don't put some QAs and if I am answering some question and answer, I will be very careful what I am putting in as an answer. Definitely. So, so as a as a uh, influencer, uh, I would say, or as a mentor uh, who has uh, greater followers, you will have to be very mindful on the suggestion yes. that we are giving. And I completely um, echo uh, your your uh, thoughts or your pain that you are mentioning. I couldn't answer every question. Uh, that's uh, actually right, uh, and it's very important to have a proper uh, uh, guidance when we are giving it to the world. Yes. Again, coming back to your uh, any of your uh, challenges that you have faced in your professional journey. Uh, so, in professional journey, of course, there are there will be uh, challenges uh, for sure. Uh, so, one of it is. So me getting into uh, the speciality that I like the most. So as I mentioned, the ma the the majority or the my my major interest uh, is getting into denials part because I wanted to know the uh, behind this behind the scenes what is happening. So that interest uh, got me into the uh, denials uh, project. So one of the organization. So I, I I'm very much grateful that I got into uh, the denials part. That's where my career got turned. Uh, and you know what? So when I got an opportunity to get into denials, uh, I would not say it is a challenging time but you know i used to have a uh, double shift in my uh, brain like i'm not working eight hours i'm working 60 hours eight hours in office eight hours in learning the denials the behind the scenes and everything so that that gave me a lot of lot of knowledge you know um i we we don't even know when we started our career uh, like Ten years ago, we don't even have the people talking about CMS. So we just log in, check the medical record, code ICD-9, CPT, ENM code, submit. That's it. So, but you know, uh, so this perspective of CMS of understanding. So we are giving modifier. Why we are giving modifier? There are indicators. So this indicators concept, I need to learn it. Where I would find this PDF? Okay, so go search online. I end up spending a lot of hours in researching these things. I might have spent thousands of hours in the CMS website itself. I uh, I have researched everything to understand what is the behind what is behind the scenes for each and every challenge or the error that I have got. I am so much glad that 
I got into denial so that it gave me the specialities that I'm not even confident of. So previously, like I I know only the ANM outpatient and few of the surgery codes. But when I got into denials, it gave me uh, it, it gave me a lot of challenges to understand there is a vascular chart that got denied. So how to code this vascular? How to code this catheterization? So I just need to research and understand. So that is that gave me uh, a lot of push uh, to know about all of the areas. So that is what uh, uh, the most challenging time of my career, which made me to learn more, which is a positive uh, side of it, actually. And negative, a negative side can be I end up spending a lot of time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe. So, But it's OK. So again, uh, coming back to the denials, as you said, so denial management will generally give us more knowledge, right? So we will deal with the multiple errors and uh, we have to correct the climb. So eventually we will understand what exactly the mistake.